the Tales of Hoffman it is an opera that I, I, want, I wanted to do. I had made a painting uh, several, about 10 years before that, and then I decided to do the, the serigraph because I wanted to share it with more people. When we were children, my mom would uh, play the Metropolitan Opera on Saturdays when we were washing clothes and we would help her hang the clothes. And so we got to listen to them. And you, as a kid, you know, you're, you don't want to listen to anything like that. But then eventually as I got older, I, I started to find uh, things that I liked about it and I love the music now. But the, uh, the Tales of Hoffman, it has this beautiful melody called a barcarolle. And when I was a child, I, I played the violin and I played that piece. So that's another thing that makes me <laughs> interested in it. But I love the idea of uh, where people could go and there would be music and art and, you know, all the pageantry and drama that, uh, that the opera brings. And to me, it, it's, it's like how people can do things that are beautiful and great and put everything they can to make something really wonderful and, make, and give people, uh, lift their spirits. The beginnings usually are small drawings. This is a, a drawing that I did of a, a sketch of what I thought of the, uh, just a very quick sketch of the Tales of Hoffman. And, uh, and that, that's how I begin things, usually from very loose drawings. In the Tales of Hoffman, it was done cumulative. So I, I print a color, I let the, the uh, s silk screen dry, and then I start drawing my next color. And so it's all cumulative, but so this is color 16. This is a transparent color. And um, this was color 19 and 20. So I printed the, uh, sometimes I have to print in small sections in order to keep the alignment. And this was so critical because it had to fit their faces, the shapes of their clothing, and then uh, this one had a blend where it was very dark and it went to lighter, a lighter blue. And, and see, I keep em emphasizing the waves and the movement of the water. So there's a lot of drawing, even though it just looks like it should just be blue. But, I, but the blue is more than just a blue. It's water moving. This is number 24. And you can see uh, how I've shaded areas, how I've added, I, I'm, this is a transparent color and it's, it's going over other colors and so I, it'll just enrich in them and make them more deep. Uh, this is number color 22. This is a trans, another transparent color, but it's also going to go over and give more enrichment to, uh, to what's underneath it. It's even on the water. And here's another blue. This is a turquoise. And also I keep, I keep putting more and more blues over. They're transparent, so they keep making the color deeper and deeper. And these colors keep emphasizing the, the, the water and the, uh, the, bu the beautiful color. Oh, and, and this one, well, you can see when I'm printing it, um, I'm also testing colors to make sure it's what that color is going to uh, affect what's underneath it and how it's going to look. And so I, 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 I paint it with a brush or I re use my finger and I just see what's going to happen to the colors. So you can see it at a very early stage. Uh, as sometimes you get surprised when you use colors that, that doesn't, it, what you expect doesn't happen, but still sometimes you have to work with what does happen. So I'm, you're just seeing a panorama of all the different uh, drawings that went in to make um, the final work. This one is a a transparent color, a red, like this is covering a lot, but it's also um, enriching the color underneath it. And this is like a shadow on the curtains. This is a proof with 20 colors. 
and it's still very rough and still a lot to go on it. And this is with 49 colors. If you look at the resolution and the 40, after 49 printings to get like real uh, finished look of the orchestra and their faces and their instruments. So much care was taken to accomplish that. But it, it, as each application of color, you keep trying to finish it, you keep trying to refine it. From here, I'd like to go up to the, the very elaborate buildings. They're like Baroque buildings, like in, especially this one with all kinds of details, like a beautiful old uh, building in Venice. The other aspect would be the, the curtains, the, the shaping and shading of the curtains to give it the feeling of, um, of shadow and, and bright light.